Fora TV. The world is thinking. We take the oath of office to obey the Constitution uh, when we're sworn into uh, office, and we take that when we're sworn into the military. And we swear to uphold the Constitution against all enemies, uh, foreign and domestic. Guess what? We do a pretty good job defending against foreign, uh, foreign threats. We overdo that because we have no foreign threats. We have no threat that somebody's going to invade this country. We have a threat of terrorism, but that is a consequence of a seriously flawed foreign policy. We overdo, we overdo our concerns about our foreign threats, but we do forget about the threat from our domestic uh, conditions that we have here. And since 9-11, our liberties have been threatened. They have been undermined. We are less free since 9-11. We're going in the wrong direction. Both parties both parties in these last several decades, and especially in the last decade, has accepted the notion of the unitary president, which is essentially a dictatorship, allowing the president to make decisions on his own. And just, just think of the inconsistency of turning this power over to the executive branch and then allowing the president to make these decisions, writing executive orders. There should be essentially no executive orders or very, very few executive orders. And we can't have a president that goes and takes a bill and arbitrarily writes a signing statement and says, oh, I only like part of this bill, I'm going to ignore the other part. No presidential signing statements to have line item vetoes. But what about the, uh, the bureaucrats in Washington? Do you think they should have the power to write law? Where did they get this power? That only the Congress is supposed to write the laws, and yet bureaucrats are writing the laws all the time. Just think of the, uh, the, the Federal Register, volumes and volumes and volumes, and if you don't understand every single regulation, you can get into big trouble. And yet, isn't it wonderful? Isn't it wonderful that the Constitution is not complex? We can read it, and most school kids should be able to understand it. But that might be one of the reasons the Constitution is not taught in our public schools, because if we raised up a new generation of individuals, they might realize that this whole system of government that we're inheriting and that we're working with and trying to change is unconstitutional. We shouldn't have it.